Hello everyone, this is Akash here from BlenderSkill.cf and in this Blender tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create your own 2D loading or countdown animation in Blender. Now, I'm gonna be using the array modifier uh, to do this and uh, this effect which I'm gonna be showing you today can be used to create a variety of things. Like if you want to create some abstract animation, you can create or you can create simple countdown or loading which I'm going to show you today. So let's get started with a default scene in Blender. So file new reload startup file. So I have the default scene loaded up here. So start by deleting the cube by pressing X and then delete. Then press shift A and then add plane. Zoom in for a better view. Scale the plane by pressing S then X and give it a rectangular shape somewhat like this then add in a bezier circle curve so to do that press shift a curve circle we're gonna be using this curve to control the uh, the array modifier which i'm gonna show you now so just drag out this panel to view more properties go to the modifiers tab select add modifier Okay, make sure the plane is selected and then add modifier, array modifier. Then again add one more modifier and select the curve modifier. Make sure the array modifier is first and then the curve modifier. Change the curve object to the Bezier circle. Also scale your uh, plane by pressing S and make it pretty small, somewhat like this. Should be pretty much fine. Yeah. And now if you increase this count value here, you'll see that the plane actually covers the entire circle. So we are going to be using this effect to create variety of things. So let's get started. The basic principle is just this. So let's start by positioning the camera. So come in the top view by using the view menu. Then press Ctrl Alt number pad 0 to snap the camera to place. Now because it is a 2d animation uh, i prefer using the orthographic lens uh, so to change the lens for the camera come in the camera settings and change the lens from perspective to orthographic i think uh, orthographic is good when you are creating some 2d animations so just increase or decrease this orthographic scale to zoom in or zoom out also i'm going to change my render dimensions a bit the resolution so let me increase the Y somewhat like this and let me decrease the orthographic skill. So now I have a completely ready scene. Um, so I'm gonna move my plane over here. So I'm just gonna use this uh, X axis, the red arrow, to move my plane just about till here, okay? Now we can animate this count value to get nice effects to create all this loading and countdown effects. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by showing you the basic countdown effect which you can create. So uh, for this one, I'm going to add in a subsurf modifier also, which is going to round off the edges of the uh, plane. So increase the view subdivisions to be three, uh, three or two, two is fine. And also check merge in the array modifier. And now you should have pretty nice smooth and plane now, ready for animation. So let's start doing it. So this is our timeline uh, and uh, just make it a bit more bigger and come here in this view menu of the timeline and check the show che uh, show seconds checkbox. This is going to show the seconds. I'm, I'm using 24 frames per second, the default frame rate. You can use 25. Also, let's, uh, let's change it. So now you can see the seconds properly, which is helpful now. So now let's start animating this. So first I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own loading animation. So what I want is one whole round of this plane. When it covers the circle, it should take only one second. Okay. So I hope you understood it, but it'll make sense. So make sure the you're in the first frame. If not, you can click on this button and then come over here in the array modifier and bring your arrow on top of the count and press the I key to insert a keyframe. Then click on this frame here which marks one second. Change the count to be 
uh, it may be different for all of you just increase the count and, uh, and uh, uh, when you find that it's intersecting uh, you should stop and add in one more keyframe by bringing your arrow on top of the count value and pressing I so now we have a keyframe and now if you play the animation by pressing alt A you can see the way uh, it's working so it's 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 nice so now we have one second the second second what I want is that the plane should start disappearing or sh should start becoming short from this side okay like this okay not from if we increase the count decrease the count now it decreases from here okay but now I want it from here okay so to do that we need to control this relay uh, this uh, these values over here so let's do it so come in the pre uh, previous frame which is the 24th frame for me and then add in a keyframe by pressing I and bringing your arrow on top of these values and come in the 25th frame again which is the one second frame which completes one second and then change this X value to be minus one and then add in one more keyframe so this way now if you decrease the count you can see that now the effect has become opposite so that's good so now let's uh, again go to the second second which is this frame the 50th frame because my frame rate is uh, 25 frames per second and change the count to be one okay and add in one more keyframe okay and uh, at, then come in the previous frame and uh, add in the keyframe for these values over here and come in the 50th frame and change this value to be 1 and add in one more keyframe okay now let's do for the third time so the last time now so again uh, come to the third second which is over here I increase the count to be again about 23 I guess for me ah no I have 41 yes no no that's too much uh, let's use 36 yeah and then press the I key again. So now if you play your animation from the beginning, hopefully you should have something that looks like this. So everything is working properly except the text. So let's add in the text. So press Shift A and then select text. Change the text by pressing the Tab key and writing your text. It's better to use numbers. So I'm going to be using number like three, I guess. And uh, you can center align it and then just add in some depth if you want to it's not necessary and you can just place it over here okay now over here is the outliner so you can see you can we are going to be animating this this restrict viewport and the render view uh, restricting rendering options over here so let's animate it so this should be visible only till the first second till here and then it should be hidden so i come in the 24th frame okay fine 25th frame and i'm gonna press the uh, hide it and press the i key and same for this rendering also the i and coming the 24th frame then make sure it's visible and press the i key again so now now when it comes in the 25th frame during the animation it's gonna it's not gonna show up so at that time we can add the second second that is the number two so again duplicate this uh, okay let's uh, okay let's duplicate it off so shift d and escape and also open up the graph editor which is important when we're doing all these animations and delete it for this one and change the text I'm going to be using two this time and uh, after one second this should be visible so till the 24th second uh, this one has an animation so what well, yeah okay yeah so we have this text one over here we're going to be animating this value so till the 25th frame uh, it should be hidden so come in the 24th frame hide it and add in some keyframes by pressing i come in the 25th frame open this eyes and this camera and add in the keyframes so now if you see you'll see how the, this is the third and then two same way do this for the one eight, eight,
right so now once when you have done this hopefully you should have something which has something like the oh what is this over here? okay so we didn't complete this two over here so um we don't want it to be visible over here so i'm just gonna hide it I, I, over here it should be visible okay fine it's fine so now it should be working properly hopefully and uh now so the end is this third second so the third second frame is 75 so let's change the end value to be 75 also now let's add the materials so select the plane go into materials tab click new change it to be the cycles render engine click use notes change the diffuse color i'm gonna be using a nice blue color so i'm gonna change the viewport color to be the same blue color also for the text select all the text by selecting them by holding down shift and left clicking in the outliner so text text one text two and um, press ctrl l and select material weight also shift and select the plane and press ctrl l materials so now, so now all our text and everything should have the same material okay so i have to do it manually now uh, so for the two same material and for the one also same material okay fine so now we have all our materials applied and close this graph and now we have a basic animation of this we don't need the lamp deleted by pressing x and delete change the world color to be pretty uh, white not completely white so and and there you have it so if you go into render preview mode you can see how it looks and um, yeah that's it so you can give it a render in 10 samples and it works so so this is this uh, simple loading animation and in the next video I'm gonna be showing you how you can create an abstract animation with more array modifiers and more planes so I hope you all enjoyed this short video and uh, I hope you implement this in some of your loading animations or countdown animations and um, thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment